You're looking for something quick and easy to cook for dinner, especially for the kids after homework and basketball. Well, this morning we're making baked fish on lettuce. Lee Clayton Roper from a well seasoned kitchen is here to show us how. Good morning. Good morning. So, kids do love fish if it's disguised, I found. They like it in the stick, the fish stick form. Right, that's what you were telling me. That's the way your kids like to <laughs> yeah, eat it. That's their favorite kind, and fish I, sticks. Yeah, I think they do. I think they like it when it's mild and also when it's got a lot of other things on it that they do like. Great. And that's what's in this uh, recipe as well. It's, it's, it's a great recipe. As you said, it just takes minutes to put it together. It's like a lot of the recipes in our cookbook, A Well Seasoned Kitchen. Limited number of ingredients, not complicated to make, but really full of flavor that the whole family can enjoy. Is this right? It's just five ingredients. Right, is this it? That's One, it. Two, okay, that's five. it. All right. That's it. You start with a pan. I've um, sprayed with with nonstick spray. I like to use the olive oil spray. Yeah, me too. You know, it has a little bit more flavor mm -hmm. to it. It's kind of fun. And then this is shredded iceberg lettuce. You know, just a regular head of iceberg lettuce, about four cups in there. And then if you want to stir together, this is um, a cup of mayonnaise mm -hmm. and a cup of Parmesan cheese, All right. and then some uh, chopped green onion. All and right. just stir those together. And while you're doing that, you just take this is tilapia. You can do this with halibut if you want. Um, if you used uh, tilapia, it's a farm-raised fish, mm -hmm. and you really want to try and get one that's been farmed in the U.S. Okay. Um, because there's more kind of regulations around the farming, and so you're not going to be have any issues with the pollutants in the water like you might get from farming in other countries yeah. uh, around the world. That's but it's interesting because mm -hmm. I never would have thought to find out where my fish was farmed. I, I didn't know that. That's interesting. So yeah. U.S. farmed tilapia or it's, fish in general. Right, but especially tilapia. Okay. Um, and, um, and, and actually I believe this tilapia comes right from Colorado, believe oh, it or great. not. It's a freshwater fish. Okay. So you can get it around here. Okay. Is that all stirred up? Mm -hmm. I so think now so. we've got the tilapia on top of the lettuce and you just take this with a spatula and you just spread it on the top. So it covers the fish, so you can see it's like kind of disguises it for the mm -hmm. for the kids. Yes. Um, put stuff they love, mayonnaise, Parmesan cheese on the top with a little bit of onion. Um, we'll sprinkle it with a little salt and pepper, and that's really it. You just do this, and then you. Um, Bake it at 350 degrees okay. for about oh, 30 minutes until it gets nice and bubbly and hot. And then it comes out looking like that. And then do you eat the, um, the lettuce underneath? Is it tasty after it's been cooked for the 30 minutes? You do eat it, believe okay. it or not. And what's interesting is iceberg lettuce has a high water content. Mm -hmm. So what it does is it ends up keeping the fish really, really moist. And so the fish cooks between this moist base and ah. then the mayonnaise also. Mayonnaise is a great thing as a moistener for, for fish as well. Like if you can do mayonnaise and mustard together and put it on swordfish and grill it. That's a nice moisture. It also base. keeps it really moist. And so it kind of bakes between these two levers, le levels, excuse me, and it's really great. And the Lettuce comes out very mild, okay. kind of the consistency of cabbage, but not as bitter. All right. Well, we just uh, looked at it, and it's beautiful. It looks nice, yeah, and again, you. disguises the fish for the kids. Thank you, Lee. We'll try it in just a minute. Okay. And you can find the recipe and the daybreak section of our website, kwgn.com. Thanks, Lee.